see everybody's life is ordinary and the same except for the leverage that the systems of advantage provide for you so we all have common destinies but we begin to rewrite our destinies as we access the systems of advantage we introduce these dimensions of kingdom reality to our lives and our lives begin to change so it is possible to find two people born of the same woman under the same conditions sociologically speaking and territorially speaking so you would think that their destinies would look like the same one you know would, would, would be the same but one of them would access these systems of advantage and begin to change things in their lives when they looked at jesus because of his association with nazareth even nathaniel spoke and said can anything good it was not nathaniel's fault jesus never said you are lying that is the pattern except that the son of the living god already had his to change it everything is true until your life changes it it is true that delay is there it is true that failure is there it is true that spirits associated with territory can manipulate this favor upon people it remains true until you rise by light are we blessed it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven these are the ordinances that cause the saints to command dominion on earth you may have heard me say it once and again that dominion is not an impartation dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom we've learned from scripture and we've learned from the experience of living that it is possible to lose things sadly many people have lost loved ones sadly many people have lost money sadly many people have lost time but according to the bible the greatest loss that can happen to a man is not the loss of things it is the loss of time and so when he begins to talk about restoration his emphasis is the years not the things i will restore the years because when you meet a dying man he will not ask you to make transfer money into his account the greatest need of a dying man is more time isaiah 38 hezekiah did not require more money or an enlargement of his throne or rest round about hezekiah's request was god give me more time that means whatever steals your time is a true enemy if you lose money and gain it back you lose your reputation there are systems to build it back but when you lose time listen please it is because of these that the bible says to walk circumspectly as wise he says and not as unwise and what is the wisdom there master anything you know in scripture that will help you to redeem time he called it wisdom that means when i explore the mysteries of the kingdom it will give me an advantage over time are we together if you lose time they may not physically speaking be a way of gaining it back but we thank god because we serve a god who does not live in time we thank god because we serve a god who does not really even live in eternity because eternity is still a subject of time it's just time without end we serve a God who lives in a realm that the Bible calls unapproachable light. His realm is now. No past, no present. No future. Now. The concept of distance, time, does not, is not a reality that exists in his realm. It was a borrowed phenomenon to help men catch up with him. That God does not live. Genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth that means he was not in the heavens he was not in the earth you can't create what you are inside 